Um, these two gentlemen were brought here by the CSO, the Citizen Nuclear Information Center, um, Genki, uh, no, Gensuikin, and CCNE, the Citizens Commission on Nuclear Energy. Um, Mr. Tetsuro Tsutsui, who is the Nuclear Regulation um, Subcommittee <coughs> representative here, will speak briefly on the proposal that they are making to the Japanese government. Um, and there will be also a, 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 probably he will be doing it in English, and then after that we will take questions. Um, Mr. Tsui -san. Thank you very much. Mm, I would uh, propose three points from engineering point of view. Number one, according to this paper, uh, establishing a project-oriented task force organization. TEPCO is inappropriate organization for dealing with this exceptional situations. So we propose the formation of project-oriented task force organization to deal with the current situation. This task force would include expertise uh, seconded uh, from engineering and construction companies, including experienced project works uh, experts and engineers. The task force would be empowered with a broad range of activities, including planning, budget control, field work management, etc. Number two, underground wall to be built on hillside of tank area. Uh, read this uh, map. Uh, the current METI and TEPCO plan is to build a 1.4 kilometer long frozen wall around the reactor buildings to block underground water. However, the existing storage tank area upstream of the reactor buildings is already radioactively uh, contaminated. Moreover, the frozen wall method is not yet technically proven and requires a long construction period before it can be in place. So we uh, propose uh, the construction of an underground wall using a different method and the installation of reliable storage tanks. The wall would be located upstream of the tank area. The tanks constructed would be 100,000 uh, ton class reliable storage tanks with maximum total capacity of 800,000 tons. <clears throat> the advantage of building the wall upstream of tank area is that, is that it opens opens up the possibilities of utilizing proven technology, the mobilization of many skilled operators of heavy equipment under less worker doors, and mobilization of many such heavy equipment simultaneously because of a large working, area, working space. Point C, plans for removal of debris should be canceled. Uh, the current METI and TEPCO roadmap states that the uh, removal of debris will begin 8.5 years after the accident and be completed 20 to 25 years after the accident. We propose following alternative. The contaminated water problem should be resolved. Spent fuel in the spent fuel pools should be removed as planned. Then we propose that the water cooling of the damaged reactor cores should be continued until the decayed heat is reduced sufficiently for natural air circulation. Subsequently, the equipment and building areas selected for isolation should be covered with concrete. 
This proposed method can avoid many uncertain difficulties which would arise in the METI TEPCO plan, including pl plugging an uncertain number of cracks on the pressure uh, containment vessels, the need to develop methods to break up the blocks of debris and remove the pieces of debris, the extensive radio, uh, radioactive doors to workers, the huge financial expenses. That's all. Thank you.